Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am filming a highly requested video, and that is my morning and evening skincare routine. So I'm gonna go over all the products that I use. I am not wearing any makeup in this video because I wanted it to be an authentic video, and I feel like it's weird if you're talking about skincare and you're not showing what your skin actually looks like. So this is my skin in all its glory. I have a tinted eyebrow gel on, but besides that, I don't have any other makeup products on my skin so that you could see how my skin looks. And I would say the main concerns with my skin, I have very, very dry skin. I used to, I have very sensitive skin as well. So my skin is very reactive to products. I need to be very considerate about what I'm using on my skin. So I can't use anything with any sort of flower extracts. That is a very popular ingredient, especially in the luxury beauty. Um, I don't know why luxury beauty companies, they are just releasing so many skincare based products with these flower extracts and flower oils, flower scents. And if you have sensitive skin, you know that you cannot wear those. They literally will just break me out instantly. So I have to be very conscious about products. Um, a lot of products that people recommend I can't use because it's just very irritating on my skin. So that are those are my concerns. I used to suffer with pretty bad acne um, because again, my skin was very sensitive and I just, I'm sensitive to everything that includes what I eat, what I put onto my skin, the makeup that I wear. So I did used to suffer with acne and because of that, I had a lot of hyperpigmentation, but because of the products I've been using, I feel like I don't really suffer that badly. I'm gonna turn off the ring light so you can actually see how my skin looks without any lighting. I don't use any studio lighting. So I want you to actually see what my skin looks like without any lighting because that can impact how the skin looks. It can just look a little bit better with lighting on. So I'm gonna turn off the light. Okay, so this is my skin without any lighting on. I have turned off the ring light so you can see up close and personal what my skin looks like. So I don't really suffer from any hyperpigmentation currently. I am 32 years old, so I would say I'm starting to get a little bit more concerned with maybe like lines. I don't, I haven't really noticed anything in terms of aging yet, but that is something that I'm starting to pay a little bit more attention to. And I also want to keep the acne away and I want to keep the hyperpigmentation on my skin away. So those are my goals when I'm choosing skincare products. And I also think when you, when you talk to a dermatologist, the most important thing they suggest is when you are buying skincare is the active ingredients. And a lot of the time the active ingredients in skincare that are going to help improve your skin are actually not that expensive to put into products. So say you're looking for a niacinamide because it's going to help with um, sensitive skin, it's gonna help keep the acne away and help with hyperpigmentation. That's actually a pretty inexpensive ingredient, and you just need that ingredient to help with the benefits. You don't need these fancy $400, $500 creams that just have all these like random ingredients in them. Maybe some of them are excellent, but all of the luxury beauty skincare items I've tried have not really done it for me. I just think they're kind of average, or I don't even like them. So I don't really buy luxury skincare products, and you will see that in the products that I recommend. I just, I just don't think they're worth the money if I'm being completely honest. I think it's important to invest in your skincare routine because of course that's gonna impact how makeup looks. But I don't think you need to be spending $400, $500 on these serums and that kind of stuff when I just feel like it's just unnecessary and I feel like you could better spend your money elsewhere. That's just my opinion. So I'm gonna start with my morning skincare routine. And for my morning skincare routine, it is very, very basic. I go in with just a basic cleansing bar. So this is the cleanser that I use. And it's actually just a beauty bar. So it basically looks like a bar of soap. This is a new one. I'm not gonna show you my used one because that's kind of disgusting. But it basically just looks like a bar of soap. And this is called the Dr. O'Hara's Probiotic Kampuku, Kampuku Beauty Bar. Of course, I will link everything down below. But this promotes and maintains radiant looking skin. It basically has very clean ingredients. There's only a few ingredients. There's sodium palmate and sodium cocate, a probiotic extract, water, and a natural caramel. Um, those are the only ingredients in this. And this really leaves my skin incredibly soft. Whenever I use this product, my skin just feels really nice and hydrated after. I don't feel like, um, sometimes when you use a cleanser, your skin can almost feel a little bit stripped after, like you need hydration. 
but this product leaves my skin feeling very hydrated. It does lather up quite a bit, so sometimes I need to be careful about getting it in my eyes, so just make sure to really cleanse it away. But this is just a fantastic cleanser for me. It doesn't irritate my skin, and it leaves my skin feeling supple and soft when I cleanse with this product. So this is actually something that I use morning and night and I love it. So this is in my morning and nighttime routine. So with my morning routine, I like to go in with a product that it's called like a pigment inhibitor. So basically, this is something that I use to get rid of the hyperpigmentation on my skin. And the, I guess you could say like the rules with this product is that you're supposed to apply this to clean skin. So actually before I go in with my cleanser, I will use this product. And this is a product that you use for 16 weeks. You use it every single day, you put it on to dry skin, you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, and then you wash your skin off. So this is a pigment inhibitor, like I said, and this is called the Urban RX. This is the HyperCorrect Intense Fading Cream. So this is a pre-cleanse treatment, and it has 5% cystamine in it. This is really good at um, wiping away hyperpigmentation, I guess you could say. So if you're someone that suffers from I don't know if it would work on melasma actually, but if you do suffer from post blemish pigmentation, any sort of red marks, any irritation on the skin, this is actually something that I have found to work very well for sensitive skin. It does not irritate my skin when I apply it, but it stinks. It smells so awful, so maybe you would want to use this at night when you're not going to see anyone because it literally, it stinks. It's the worst, it smells like sulfur basically, but I just use a pump of this, you apply it onto your skin, it doesn't have a color to it, so it's not like a mask where you can actually see it on the skin. It's a very thin texture, so it just kind of absorbs into the skin. It feels like you're applying a lotion onto the skin. I will leave it on my skin for that 15 to 20 minutes, and I actually apply it a little bit under my eyes. I don't know if you're technically supposed to apply it under your eyes, but I actually have found that this has lightened my dark circles quite a bit, and I would say dark circles are one of the things that really concerns me. So I just use this every day. I have only been using this for about six weeks now. And I actually have, I feel like my skin looks a lot brighter. And I feel like some of, I don't really, again, have that much hyperpigmentation currently. But I feel like before I started this, I had a little bit more hyperpigmentation. I am someone that's really prone to freckles if I go out in the sun. And I feel like this has lightened up my freckles a little bit. So this has been really great for me. So this again has that cystamine in it. It also has niacinamide. Um, so those are kind of the key ingredients I think that are helping to brighten my skin and also keep it clear from acne. I don't have any irritation from this product. I really love this. So that is what I do in the morning. And then right after I apply that cream, I will cleanse my skin. And then I go in with the Dermatology. This is the Needleless Serum. This is medical grade skincare. I don't know if it's actually can, technically you can call it medical grade skincare because it's actually a way lower price point. It's still, I would say it's like mid range. It's not super high end, but it's kind of right in the middle. And this is um, a product that you apply after you cleanse your skin. You apply four to five drops onto fingers and smooth it all over the face and the skin. So this is a really great facial serum that safely targets the appearance of fine lines around the mouth, eyes, and forehead using their revolutionary formula. It deeply hydrates and restores skin delicate natural barrier for a more youthful appearance. So again, this is just supposed to help out with your skin barrier. It's supposed to bring that that youthfulness to the skin, that glow to the skin, and it has um, ingredients in it that are going to help target the appearance of fine lines and everything like that. Again, I am only 32, so I don't really notice a huge difference with this, but I do get Botox, and I'm someone who metabolizes Botox very, very quickly, so I was trying to try this out to see if maybe I could prolong getting Botox, basically, so that I could only get it once a year. Um, I think this is nice. Again, I might be the wrong person to ask because I'm not someone that has a lot of fine lines, so I haven't noticed like a huge difference with this, but I do like how this feels on my skin, and I'm all about prevent like preventative um, skincare, so I feel like if I'm using this, it can help prevent me from getting those fine lines earlier. This also has uh, quite a few nice ingredients to it. It has ceramides in it. It has um, niacinamide, which I love. It has a copper lysinate in there as well. 
and panthenol, which is a B5, which um, helps add hydration to your skin. So just good ingredients. I don't think you can go wrong with this product and I've been really liking it so far. And then next I like to go in with a moisturizer because again, I do have drier skin. So before I apply an SPF, I do like to go in with a moisturizer. And this is again, is from Dermatology. This is called the Peptide Night Cream. It hydrates and softens the skin. This is a moisturizer rich in peptides, ceramides, and vitamin E that is formulated to hydrate and nourish your skin, restoring a youthful, healthy glow. So you can apply this in the morning and at night. I typically just use it in the morning just because I really like how this wears underneath makeup. It doesn't disturb makeup. When I apply makeup over top, it doesn't pill or anything like that. This is just a really nice hydrating moisturizer if you are someone with dry skin. Again, I did purchase every single product that I'm talking about with my own money, except one product, which I will mention later on but I purchased this with my own money. I really like it because again, it is hydrating, it is comfortable on the skin. This is a moisturizer that doesn't break out my sensitive skin. Um, I like that it has those plumping ingredients that are good for, I guess you could say like aging skin, which again, I am only in my 30s, so I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I feel like it has those plumping ingredients, so it leaves my skin feeling very nice. And then next, I will go in with an SPF, and this is probably one of my most asked questions, is what SPF I use underneath makeup. Now, the SPF that is my holy grail, it is my absolute favorite, it is so, so good. This is called the Illumiere MD Sheer Hydration Broad Spectrum SPF 40. This is a tinted moisturizing sunscreen lotion, and it just has like a universal tint to it. This has 7% titanium dioxide and 6.28% zinc oxide. And this is seriously the best SPF that I have ever found. I don't think it's available in the US though. So I live in Canada. We have very strict regulations when it comes to our SPF. So a lot of the SPFs that are available in the US, we cannot purchase in Canada. And a lot of, I guess the Canadian SPFs, you can't really purchase in the US. I don't know, but I tried to find this and it was a little hard to find. So I'm going to again do a little bit of search because this is seriously my favorite SPF that I've ever, ever tried. And I've tried so many. So many people like the Ulta MD um, SPF, but that one pills underneath my makeup quite a bit. And I don't love this. This just has the best texture to it. It has the best finish. It has this nice blurring capability and it feels hydrating. It's like that perfect combination of it's hydrating enough but not too hydrating where you look sweaty and it like looks oily on the skin and it just has the perfect tint for me. It, I, it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but I think it blends really nice. It doesn't really add any coverage to the skin, maybe like a very, very sheer tint. This is the only kind of coverage product that I'm wearing today. It just offers a very sheer tint and I feel like I could go out in public and I don't necessarily feel like I need makeup over top. This is just phenomenal. But again, if you are in the US and you can't find that, I wanted to mention another few SPFs that I do like. So this is called the Australian Gold Botanical F50. Wow, I can't speak today. 50 SPF, it's a lightweight matte finish. It's a mineral um, sunscreen for fair to light skin tones. You can buy this in a few different shades, but I just bought the fair to light one. Um, so again, this is an SPF 50. It has titanium dioxide 4% and zinc oxide 4%. And this is really nice if I want a matte finish. So maybe in the summertime, I will use this product more. This also wears very, very well underneath makeup. I would say this adds a little bit more coverage than the Illumiere Sheer Hydration SPF, but it's not, like I wouldn't call it like a medium coverage or anything. It's very, very sheer tint. It just offers a little bit more coverage, but it does add a really nice blurred matte effect to the skin. And I find this wears really well under makeup. It doesn't pill, it doesn't um, do anything funny. I can even, even though it's a matte finish, I can still go in with like my Shandikai Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint over top and I have no issues. Um, but this one, it does have a little bit of a fragrance to it. It's like a kind of a fruity fragrance, um, but it's nice if you're someone with oily skin. It's not my absolute favorite though, um, but I do think it is a nice one. And SPF, I feel like it's really challenging to find one that works. And again, with my sensitive skin, SPFs tend to break me out. And these are the only ones that, the ones I mentioned are the only ones that I've found that have not broken me out. So I love those two. And then the other one I want to mention that I would say is probably the most similar to this Illumiere MD one 
is again from Dermatology. I really like this brand and again, nothing was sent to me. This is not sponsored in any way. I purchased these with my own money. This is the Dermatology Universal Tint and Moisturizer, SPF 46. It glows and prevents, so it's a protection product. It's broad spectrum, UVA, UVB protection. So it's active ingredients. There are 12%, there is 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% octanoxate. And I really like this product um, because it has a really nice finish to it. So again, very similar to this Illumier one where it kind of has that perfect in between where it gives you a little bit of a glow but not too much of a glow where you look oily or anything. It has a little bit of coverage as well. I would say more of that sheer to light coverage. Again, very similar to this. I still prefer this one, but this is a very close second best. It's a really, really nice universal tinted moisturizer. The reason I probably like this one more is I have to pay duties when I buy dermatology products, and that is like the most irritating thing is to pay shipping costs and duties. So I would probably repurchase this one over this product, but I like to have this and yeah, even though I have to pay duties and shipping costs with dermatology, I have been really impressed with their products. So currently it is worth it for me. Okay, and moving on to my night routine. So in the evening, this is the best micellar water for removing your makeup. So again, because I have sensitive skin, I can't use just any old makeup remover. This Bioderma, this is the Sensibo H2O micellar water makeup remover for sensitive skin and it is for face and eyes. So this cleanses and soothes the skin. This is just the best micellar water. It doesn't have any sort of scent to it. It doesn't have any oily residue. You can just really comfortably remove your eye makeup and your face makeup and it just leaves your skin feeling so nice after. If you have sensitive skin, you need to have this. And this is my cellar water, even though it's for sensitive skin, it actually gets rid of all the makeup. So I just go in with this, remove all my makeup, and then I'll go in with this um, beauty bar to cleanse my skin. That's all I do to remove my makeup, but this is this Bioderma is a game changer. It's the best. And then I also like to go in with a pigment inhibitor in the evening as well. So typically I will use this four days a week. I like to alternate, again, I will show you what I use on the other two days. So four days a week, I will use this Touch Bright and Clear Cream. And this, again, is a pigment inhibitor, so it is going to help prevent that hyperpigmentation. It also has ingredients that will help if maybe I do have a breakout that's coming or they currently have a breakout. It's going to help um, get rid of that quicker. So this contains azelaic acid, kojic acid, niacinamide, and transit transit, I cannot pronounce words today, tranexamic, tranexamic acid, oh my goodness. <laughs> so again, this is a pigment inhibitor and with all these ingredients that I mentioned, they are scientifically proven to brighten the skin to help prevent that hyperpigmentation, to help brighten the skin and correct that hyperpigmentation that you have on the skin. So this has been a really game-changing product for me. I absolutely love this. I have no, I had no sensitivity to this at all. Um, and I just love the ingredient list in this because it doesn't contain anything heavy. It just feels very comfortable when you apply it onto the skin. It does not burn or irritate um, my skin in any way either. So for me, I have noticed quite a big improvement with the hyperpigmentation on my skin. I feel like my skin is in really good condition now and I basically don't really have that much hyperpigmentation. I have like a little bit, um, nothing that is like I don't know, that is crazy or anything, but I really think that this product has made such a difference in brightening my skin. And then next, so I typically allow this product to sit on my skin for like 10 minutes, and then I'll go in again with the Dermatology Needleless Serum. I like to use this twice a day. I haven't noticed any like crazy differences with this, but I do think it's a, a preventative measure for me, so I like using this in the evening and in the mornings and it's just nice and hydrating i feel like you can't go wrong with that sort of product so i also use that in the evening and then i go in with a moisturizer um in the evening time as well so the moisturizer that i really really love is the paula's choice intensive repair cream and this contains retinol it's an ultra rich creamy formula that smooths and hydrates and it visibly firms skin and targets all signs of aging I love this. This is such a good nighttime moisturizer because it is very hydrating. Again, with someone with very dry skin, I really care a lot about hydration. And this is a hydrating moisturizer that does not break out my skin, that does not irritate my skin. 
And again, with some, someone with sensitive skin, I have to be very cautious with the products I use. And this just contains really nice ingredients that, again, protects your skin barrier, but also will help with signs of aging. And it helps brighten the skin as well. So I really like the ingredients in this product. I feel like it has made such a difference in my skin. This is the product that I've been using the longest out of all the products in my skincare routine. I've probably been using this for like, I want to say four years now. This is just a consistent, I'm someone that doesn't switch up my skincare routine like ever because I'm scared to because I'm so sensitive. Um, but this has retinol, um, which is a vitamin A. It diminishes the look of fine lines and wrinkles. It has an antioxidant blend that fights various signs of aging, and it contains hyaluronic acid that instantly plumps skin and attracts and locks in moisturizers. And I just really like the active ingredients in here. So this has glycerin, it has ceramides, niacinamide, which is probably my favorite ingredient in my skincare. It has green tea and licorice extract, which are really great for brightening the skin as well. It has retinol, palmitate, and retinol in this product as well. And it does have a magnesium excorable phosphate, which is basically like a hydrating form of vitamin C. So I really like this ingredient list, and this is just one of my favorite, favorite moisturizers because I feel like I have seen quite, um, quite a benefit with using this product. Yeah, so I mentioned that I apply this product four times a week. So that those are the skincare products that I will use four days a week, and then twice a week, I will use a uh, retinol. So I can't go in with an actual prescription strength retinol cream because my skin is just a little bit too sensitive. I'm hoping that as I get older, my skin will be less sensitive so I can use that because I know it's really great for preventing fine lines and it's a really great anti-aging product. But the one that I am using and is working really well for me, again, twice a week, is this different gel. You can get this over the counter. I think in the US, you can just get it at a drugstore. In Canada, I have to order it online. We don't sell these in our drugstores. This is just an adapalene gel, and I have found this um, works really well. But you have to be really careful with retinol products. And because of this, when I do my evening skincare routine twice a week, I will cleanse my skin. And then I will go in with a moisturizer. And the moisturizer I like to use when I am using my retinol is the Eucerin. This is the Urea Repair Replenishing Face Cream. This has 5% urea in it, which is a very nice hydrating ingredient for your skin. And I really, really like this because, again, as someone with very dry skin, and when I use a retinol, I need to go in with something very hydrating. This doesn't have any sort of active ingredients that are going to be irritating with a retinol product. So... I'll just cleanse my skin, go in with this. Really nice um, to use in the daytime if you're feeling really dry as well because it wears under makeup nicely. And then I'll just go in with a pea-sized amount of this different gel. That's it for twice a week. And then one night during the week, I will completely take off using any sort of my brightening products. So I won't use this product and I won't use the retinol. And then I'll just go in with this moisturizer um, as my, like I'll cleanse my face and then just go in with this because I just need one free night where I'm not using any sort of active ingredients because I really want to keep my barrier nice and hydrated and I don't want to irritate it too much. And then for an eye cream, the eye cream that I use is the Chantecaille Stress Repair Concentrate Plus. And I wanted to mention this last because I'm someone that has never really used an eye cream because all the ones that I've tried gave me like milia around my eyes. I think again, it just comes to having really sensitive skin. But then Shantika sent me this, and I decided to just try it out. And this is an eye cream that doesn't give me that. I really like it. Have I noticed an improvement in fine lines and wrinkles? Nope, I have not. I haven't noticed any difference. It's just a nice hydrating cream. Um, I've heard a lot of people mention that they really like this. But I was sent this, and that's why I use it. I would not have purchased this myself if I'm being completely honest, because it is so expensive. And I feel like you can probably find an eye cream... I don't know if it would be exactly similar, and of course, once I go through this, I will test out some eye creams. If you have any suggestions for eye creams, please let me know, because I just think this is too expensive to repurchase for what it is, but I also haven't really tried other eye creams, and I don't know if this is just, like, way superior, so we'll, we'll see. But right now, if you would like to buy this, I think it's really nice, but do I think it's worth the price? No. I do not, so that, are, that is my thoughts on the eye cream. I'm using it just because it was sent to me, but I would never have purchased it myself, and I don't know if I would repurchase it. I'm going to 
I'm gonna say no, I'd probably wanna find something cheaper, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, and then I also want to quickly mention devices. Now something that is very new to my skincare routine is devices. I feel like this video is really long, so I'm really sorry, but I've added devices in and I purchased this first product in December. So I haven't been using it a super long time. It's been maybe coming up on three months, but I feel like this product has brightened my skin. Again, I feel like I can notice a difference looking a few months back, but I also don't know if that's just placebo. Like I spent money on this, so I really want it to work. You know, when like you are just convinced something's working, so you like trick your mind. I don't know, it's not something that I think has made like a wow significant difference. Like you have to try this, it's the best product ever. I feel like it's one of those, like it's similar to when you lose three pounds, but no one else can tell that you've lost three pounds, but like you can because you weighed yourself, but it's not noticeable. Does that make sense? Anyways, this is the Omni, Omni Lux Contour Face Mask. So this is an LED face mask. Um, really great, again, if you, um, it's supposed to be really great for like fine lines and wrinkles. Aging skin is supposed to really help um, the appearance of that. Um, and it's supposed to help if you have any sort of hyperpigmentation. It's supposed to help brighten the skin. I feel like this has made a difference. And again, this was purchased not with my money because my mom actually got me this as a Christmas gift, so thank you mom. But this was purchased as a gift from my mom, but I was not sent this, and I feel like this is expensive, but I feel like it's made a difference. Again, I will definitely let you know once I've been using it more, but I really like this. It doesn't take up too much time. It's literally, you press a little button, and it turns on, and you can see, can you see, it's like red LED, and you just put it on your face, and you look like a crazy robot person. So maybe you want to do this in the privacy, well, you definitely want to do this in the privacy of your own home, but like when maybe you don't have friends over or anything. Um, I use it every other day, and again, it's just 10 minutes. You put it on to dry skin, so I just would cleanse my skin, apply this mask for 10 minutes. Um, again, I haven't noticed anything in terms of lines and wrinkles because I didn't really have them when I started using this mask, but I do feel like it's bright in the skin. It's not the most comfortable thing to wear, like it's kind of awkward and chunky and this thing like hangs down at your side. So it's not like, wow, this feels so comfortable to wear. I'm always kind of happy that I get to take it off. But it's not super uncomfortable, but I wouldn't like, I don't know, I just don't find it that comfortable to wear, but it's only for 10 minutes. And it's something that I have continuously used since I bought it. And I think it's a nice addition. Do I feel like you need this? No, I don't think you need it, but it's it's nice to have in my opinion. It's actually funny that I had bought this product because I was just doing a lot of research on either purchasing an LED mask or a microcurrent. But the microcurrents made me nervous because when you get Botox, you're like freezing the face, but then when you're using microcurrents, they activate the muscles, and I just feel like that's counterintuitive to actually anti-aging your skin. I could be very wrong with that, but I just felt like it was contradicting, and it's something, I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking in that department. If you have a microcurrent device and you like it, please let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, but I just, I thought the LED mask would be better for preventative purposes because it makes like a noticeable difference where the microcurrents, you have to continually use it. You can't like ever stop. And then I, there was just something about the overuse of muscles that made me nervous that like maybe in the future it could actually make wrinkles worse. I could be wrong again, but those are my thoughts on either purchasing a microcurrent or LED. And then, weirdly enough, after purchasing that LED mask myself, just because curiosity got the best of me, Current Body actually reached out to me and they asked if they could send me their LED eye protector. So I'm just gonna read a little bit about this. This device works to target wrinkles and fine lines in the eye area using four wave with lengths of LED for a younger and rejuvenated appearance. Crow's feet, 11 lines, eye bags, and dark circles are concentrated with just a three minute treatment where the maximum benefit will come from six uses per week. Within eight weeks of consistent use, you will look glowing, less tired, and visibly more youthful. So again, this is very similar to the actual LED mask and what it's um, helping like prevent those fine lines and wrinkles, except the LED mask is more, um, it's more guided for your full face, where this is just targeted to the areas around your eyes. I've literally only used this three times, so I cannot say if it has worked. Again, I am 32, I don't have a ton of fine lines or anything. I just thought this was nice to try and a nice addition. 
I will definitely keep you updated, but this is a newest addition to my skincare routine. And yes, I was sent this um, free of charge just for to try out. I do literally just put it on like you would swimming goggles, and then you just turn on the light here, and you it's just applied for three minutes. So uh, because I've only used this three times, I have not noticed any sort of difference. Again, I don't have a lot of fine lines or wrinkles around my eye area. I am curious. I kind of want my mom to try this out. So I might get my mom to either purchase the LED mask and try it out for herself because I'd be interested to hear her thoughts on the LED because I feel like maybe it would mean more coming from someone with actually more mature skin. But I do have a 15% on off coupon if you're interested in trying any of the LEDs from Current Body. So the code is Lisa B and it is 15% off if you're interested in any of their LED stuff. Um, but I will definitely, definitely keep you guys updated on this because it is pricey if you're purchasing it. And that is everything for my skincare routine. I feel like this was really long, so I apologize, but I feel like skincare is actually super important, um, especially when it comes to applying makeup over top because how your skin looks before you apply makeup is going to directly impact how makeup actually sits on your skin and how it looks, at your, looks on your skin. And to get the best result with your makeup, you want to make sure that your skincare is dialed in. As you can tell, I have a very minimalist approach these are going to stay in my routine for a very long time. I'm someone that doesn't try out new products really because if I know that these products work, I don't want to try new things. I'm sorry, that's just how I am. I think these work for me, so I'm not going to stray from them. So these will be continual favorites throughout the years because I love them that much. And I just want to go over a lot of skincare and also, like yes, these products work for me, but I also um, have a very healthy lifestyle. Like make sure you're drinking your water. I drink. A gallon of water. I drink this full water bottle every single day. So I feel like hydration is very important when it comes to your skincare. I am someone that takes care of my skin from the inside out. I eat very healthy. Um, I work out basically every day. I get a minimum of 10,000 steps. I strength train five days a week. I also do a mobility day once a week. Um, so yeah, I just am very active. I eat very healthy. I don't really drink alcohol. I don't really drink caffeine but I drink a ton of water and I think it's really important to note that that probably impacts how my skin looks as well. But that is everything for my skincare routine. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it and I will see you in my next video.